Hi, my name is Dr. Markus Rogan. I'm a chemist and I research cannabis. I'm here to answer your questions from the internet. So, first question. How do I smoke weed under water? Why? Why? I think the same way that you breathe underwater? Like, if you have figured that out, let me know. Otherwise, don't. What is the science behind why smoke can't stay inside a very tight bottle? This actually isn't as weird as the question sound. So, smoke is actually droplets and particles suspended in air. So this is not a gas. Smoke are particles, uh, droplets like aerosols or actually solids like um, ash. And when you leave that in a state of rest, so in a tight bottle or in a room without any ventilation, they will fall to the floor or stick to the side of the bottle. So the smoke will just settle down than uh, any dust you have in a room. How do I know if I'm high 24 hours after I smoked weed? So if you don't know, something is wrong with you. But so normally, intoxication lasts only a few hours, um, particularly on smoking cannabis. When you ingest cannabis, so edibles, there might be a longer intoxication phase. Later onset, longer, a bell curve of intoxication, so you might be intoxicated longer. Um, and then secondly, uh, intoxication doesn't mean compounds and system. If you smoke a joint, you might be high for a few hours, but the THC will be in your system and traceable for days and weeks. So you will fail a drug test even if you're not intoxicated anymore. But if you don't know if you're still high 24 hours later, maybe check with a doctor. <laughs> oh, is weed illegal on Mars? Actually, let's think about this. So, if you go on the web, you can buy lots of land on Moon and Mars. So, you could buy a large place like Olympus Mons and then uh, now say that's your state, your free state of Marcus, and make weed legal or illegal. Problem there is these are all scams. You can't buy property outside of Earth. Um, but there are actually some laws that govern space. They are only concerned with weapons of mass destruction. So uh, I don't think cannabis counts as weapon of mass destruction, so there are no laws referring to legal or illegality of cannabis on Mars. But also Mars has no atmosphere, or at least no oxygen atmosphere. So, consumption is quite difficult there. Would wasps or hornets get high from smoking weed? How do you come up with that question? What are you doing to those animals? But actually, be, be, be fair question. So, basically, every, any class of animal that has been studied has an endocannabinoid system. So yes, they would be affected by cannabis. But insects don't have an endocannabinoid system. So it's just a wasted joint on them. They don't feel anything. How do I smoke weed out of a pipe in the bathroom without it smelling? Why? Okay, so um, first tip, use really, really old weed that has no terpenes on it and no flavor, so there's less smell. 
Do symphony orchestra professionals smoke bongs? That's highly specific. Why bongs? Um, so I checked with a friend of mine. She was a f uh, professional uh, musician. She said she saw a lot of joints, not bongs. Maybe that has changed by now. Um, but actually what orchestra professionals would do is use beta blockers to overcome stage fright and the, the sh shivers. Uh, there's also a big alcoholism problem. Uh, again, stage fright. But actually there's something deeper behind that. So symphony orchestra professionals are the best at their trade. So they are like high performing athletes. And high performance and addiction are actually very closely related. Both of them is a single minded, minded pursuit of excellence or of, of something where just the professionals would do that for the betterment of society or the benefit of themselves, while for um, ad addicts it would be to the detriment of themselves. Uh, but psychologically they're actually very closely re uh, related. So I personally do triathlon and um, many triathlon pros have a history of addiction um, who then manage to just change that addiction to a focus on professionalism. Um, so the question about symphony orchestra professionals and bongs are actually not that far-fetched. Uh, but they prefer joints and vodka. So, that were all the weird questions we could find so far. Maybe we find some more. Thank you for watching.